I'm just going to the bathroom, guys, but remember, you guys are doing a test, so absolutely no talking, okay? I'll be right back. Hey, show me the answer to number two. Okay, here it is. Miss, Jake just gave Jesse the answer to number two. What? No, he didn't. Class, is this true? Luke, why would you lie about that? That's not funny. Come with me to the principal's office. I'll show you proof! Okay, but I need my phone. Listen to this. Hey, show me the answer to number two. Jesse and Jake, principal's office, right now! How did you do that, Luke? I use this app that lets you record the last two minutes of conversation after it happened so you never miss anything ever again. Wow, where can I get that? You can get it by pressing the button on my profile. What brings you in today, sir? Ever since I was a little kid, I'm always scared at night that there's something underneath my bed like a monster or something and I, I just don't know what to do. Hmm, very interesting. Well, if you put yourself in my hands for one year and visit me three times a week, we should be able to get rid of these fears. That would be awesome. How much do you charge? I charge $80 a visit. Ooh, okay. Well, I'll sleep on it if I can. And if I still need it, I'll come back to you. Okay, sounds good. Six months later. Oh, hey Luke, how's it going? Good. Why didn't you come to see me about those fears that you were having? Well, $80 three times a week for a year is a lot of money. A bartender cared me for $10 and I was so happy that I saved that much money, I decided to buy myself a new car. Is that so? And if you don't mind me asking, how did a bartender cure you? He told me to just cut the legs off my bed. Ain't nobody under there now. <gasps> hey, what's wrong? I just lost $60 on the ground and I can't find it. You know what? Here's a $20 bill. Really? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hello? Guess what? I just gave $20 to a kid who was crying. Aw, that's so nice of you. Yeah, and I also found $60 on the ground. Hey mom, where are you? Oh hey sweetie, I'm just sitting here at home. Oh, you're at home? What are you doing there? Um, I've just been watching some TV the last couple hours since I got home from work, and now I'm about to go and cook some dinner. What are you doing? What am I doing? Oh, well I've just been waiting at school for the last three hours for you to pick me up. Wake up, Sophie. Do you have any last words? <laughs> you have terrible aim. Like, what were you even throwing at? Luke, I told you to never touch that. Wake up, Mom. Ah, Mom, can you come here? What's wrong, Luke? Don't you smell that? No. What does it smell like? It smells like up dog. Huh? What's up, dog? Not much. How about you? <gasps> Wake up, Mom, come here quick! What are you screaming about? There's a mouse under that box! There's a mouse under there? I don't believe you. Is there actually? No! I'm just standing on a chair so I can be taller. Yes, there's a mouse under there! I'll lift up the box and then you grab it. Me grab it? Why would I grab it? Because you're my mom! Uh-uh. No chance I'm touching a mouse. Fine. If I grab it, you gotta give me a hundred dollars, though. Fine. Deal. We gotta get it out of here, so... Deal. Okay. Here I go. No! This is the captain speaking. We're all gonna die. No! 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 All of us will one day. No one knows when. But it will probably be when we hit this mountain. I wish I looked like you. You just need to exercise. Shut up, you were born skinny. If you ran like your mouth, you would be too. How long did you work during your last job? Around 30 years. And how old are you? I'm 20 years old. You're 20 years old and you have 30 years of experience? How is that possible? Overtime. <gasps> you have the job. Luke, have you seen my glasses anywhere? You broke them! Give them back to me! I'm sorry, Dad! It was an accident, I swear! It's okay. I'm not mad. Really? No. You just need to be more careful next time, okay? Yes, I will. 
Come here. I never touch myself again! Dad, what are we doing at an adoption center? We're gonna adopt a child. So I'm gonna get a brother or a sister? Mm-hmm. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Hi, sir. How can I help you today? Hi, we're here to adopt a child. Aw, that's so nice. What's your email? <sighs> I can never remember mine. I'll give you my mom's. It's catlover123 at gmail.com. It looks like that one's already been registered. Oh, would you look at that? Wait. <laughs> 15 in Costa Rica. As soon as I woke up, I enjoyed the warm weather and view from our Airbnb since we're going back to the freezing cold on Wednesday. Here's a quick tour of it. We've got the kitchen, the dining table, the living room, the view through the whole place. Then upstairs, there's three more master bedrooms, all with beautiful views. In the morning, I had a protein bar for breakfast and just relaxed. I also hopped in the pool for a bit. Then for lunch, we went to our favorite spot that we've gone the past three days. After that, we hopped on this fishing boat that we had booked and got destroyed by some waves for a couple hours and got soaking wet. We were out there for five hours hours and caught zero fish but hey at least we got to see the sunset we then got ready for dinner and ate at this fish market that we hadn't gone to before after we went back to our airbnb and i watched my favorite youtuber for a few minutes before heading to bed for our final day in costa rica come on come on yeah let's go did they score no i'm just cheering for no reason oh is that blood no it's ketchup did you find the golf club you wanted? Yep, yeah, and I also got some golf balls. Nice, did you get the golf balls from the same place? No, I got them from Walmart. Everyday habits that are bad for you. Using your phone before going to bed. Artificial light at night reduces the production of melatonin which is what helps you fall asleep. Stopping yourself from sneezing. When you try to prevent yourself from sneezing, pressure in your brain increases significantly. The blood flow in your brain is disrupted and your blood vessels and nervous tissues are compressed, which can lead to headaches, damaged vessels, and hearing problems. Leaving food in plastic containers. Lots of plastic containers have artificial chemicals which help them maintain their flexibility. If kept in there for a long time, those substances can get into your food and affect your organs. I'm at the mall right now, and I'm just wondering if you have any Christmas gift ideas for yourself. Um, I can't think of anything right now. Well, I'm going to be here for the next couple hours, so just give me a call back once you figure it out, okay? Okay. the new Super Mario Brothers Wonder? What's that? It's a brand new game for the Nintendo Switch that's set in a whole new world called the Flower Kingdom, where characters can turn into elephants, the green warp pipes come alive, and you can even float in outer space. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hey boys, just a quick reminder, it's your uncle's birthday today, so their whole family's gonna be here, including your little cousin Jimmy. So I'd like you guys to let him play, okay? Are you actually gonna let him play? <laughs> no. <laughs> boys. They've been here a few minutes now. I'd like you to come get Jimmy. <sighs> what do we do? Hey boys, long time no see. Luke, do you want to play? Really? <gasps> Michael. Can you go ask Jimmy if he wants to play the new Super Mario Brothers Wonder? Here's three survival tips that could one day save your life. 
Starting a fire with almost no resources. All you need is batteries and foil, like a bubblegum wrapper. Just put the foil at the end of the batteries and it will start to heat up and burn. And once you get a flame, you can use things like Doritos to have a mini fire. Sending an emergency signal. Now that you know how to make a fire, you need a lot of smoke. To produce that, you could use fresh pine and spruce leaves, wet leaves from any other trees, or rubber materials. Another way to send a signal is by using something reflective, like a mirror, CD, metal, and even jewelry. Emergency number. A really handy thing to know is that most cell phones will dial your local emergency number even if you have no SIM card and no service. Four ways you've been secretly tricked by companies. In the list of ingredients on a product, manufacturers often use the scientific name of certain ingredients to confuse the customer. This way you don't quite understand if the ingredient is healthy or not. Limited time offers are a trick to create a sense of urgency so that you buy the product before the sale ends. But in reality, it's probably not a real offer or it may never end. Advertising agencies alter the photos of the products they're promoting in order to make them look more eye-catching. In most photos and commercials, they don't even use real food. They use glue for milk, car oil for syrup, and coffee bubbles are actually soap. Companies give a human character to an animal or object to get you to buy their product. It makes them look more adorable and it'll give you the confidence to buy it. Some examples are the Duracell Bunny and the Fruit Loops Toucan. Five people who won the food lottery part 12. This person got a banana the size of their forearm. This person got a lemon way bigger than their hand. This person found a pearl in the oyster that they were eating. This person grew a carrot that looks like a hand. Now before I tell you the craziest one about this gummy bear, I found this app that boosts your snapchat and makes it look like this. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person found a wizard in their pack of gummy bears. Five people who won the food lottery part six. This person found a potato chip the same size as the bag. This person found a giant chip in their ice cream. This person found an extra large egg. This person's ice cream sandwich came with another half. And this person's pepper had peppers growing inside of it. Buy photos you'll have to look at twice. At first it looks like there's a giant pigeon, but it's actually just sitting on a ledge and the person's walking in the distance. At first it looks like there's a human dog, but the dog's actually sitting beside its owner. At first this looks like some weird looking cat, but it's actually just two cats laying in the exact same position on each side. At first it looks like this fish has an arm, but the fish just got too close to the camera. And finally, it looks like this person has a small head, but it's just the head from the person in front of them. How long is this going to take?